little bit about me. I've been in campus ministry for 17 years. And I've loved doing that. I was doing that for most of my life. I really miss working with a lot of these people. I just enjoy talking to students and getting to hang out with them and talk about life and stuff. I'm also a pastor in our church in Victory, currently serving in Victory Santa Rosa. I've got two sons, Philip and Manu, and they're amazing. They're funny and fun to be with, and we, have, we go on adventures together. And I'm married to Carla, as she's more famously known, Rica Peralejo. So yeah, that's pretty much most of my life in a nutshell. And now I'm vlogging, okay? <laughs> I kind of cringe at that word because uh, not that there's anything wrong with vlogging. My, my wife's a vlogger. More the thought of me doing it. <laughs> so why am I doing it? Really, simply because it's a, it's a way to communicate with people and it's a different medium. It's a different channel. I've loved how the internet has opened up so much of this. And uh, when social media began to take off, pretty much got on a lot of those things. Friendster, MySpace. <laughs> Some of you might not know that anymore. When Twitter opened up, I was there pretty early. And it was fun, huh? Can you imagine? Before Twitter was fun. Uh, not as tense, tense or tension-filled as it is now. Plurk. Alam niyo pa ba yun? Zanga, that was a fun one. Multiply was a precursor to Facebook, very popular here in Southeast Asia. You could post blogs and photo albums and musical playlists. It was really fun because you could see who the people who viewed your profile were last. And that was actually very instrumental to me ending up with my wife. That's just another story for another time. Uh, and then, of course, the, the current ones. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. My point is it's a different medium, all right? It's a different medium, and it's a way to communicate with people. Now, admittedly, promise, I'm, I'm, I am a little nervous about this. I don't know if you can tell. It's uh, something untried for me. It's uh, opening up my life to strangers and not seeing, you know, wondering how people will respond to that. So all of that is, is, is in the back of my mind. I'm excited for this though because of for what it allows. Longer conversations, more variety. It's archived so you can post something and it's gonna be there so you don't have to keep repeating yourself to people. And there's a reach. Well, I really will be talking about my faith, no? Christianity, and from a specific perspective. And I'm not trying to be a dominant perspective. I think that that's, that's unnecessary. There's a lot of voices out there. And I think there's room and space for all of them, you know, to be heard. There's different perspectives of Christianity, then many of them can be valid even though they're different. And the point that I want to speak from is, is, is from mine, you know, because I, I grew up in church and, and I love Jesus and I love my church. I love the Bible. But growing up in the church, I did have a lot of questions. I did have a lot of wrestlings with it. Things that I would hear about, that I would see. But that in but in church natin, or but in church yon natin. What I'm really grateful for is as I wrestled with these questions, as I was growing, as I was meeting new people, I had people in my life who engaged me and who who walked with me through that process. I had people in my life who allowed that process in me. Not to say that they provided all the answers or they knew, you know, how to respond to it right away, but they stayed connected with me even as I was asking those things. I'm grateful for that, for people who encouraged that process. And that's what I want this channel to be, to be a place where we can have that process. I'm concerned for people who don't have that. Maybe they don't have a they have a lack of exposure, lang. Maybe they feel like they're the odd one out in their family or in their church community. Na parang bakit ako lang yata nagtatanong nito. Or sometimes, unfortunately, they're being actively shut down. Diba? Be quiet. Be quiet. So, masigut ka pa. Just let go, let God. Diba? That's not in the Bible. Jesus, take the wheel. That's also not in the Bible. So, this can be a place where we can have that conversation. Alright? If you're a believer exploring your faith, or you're not a follower of Jesus, but you want to hear, you want to separate what, what is really the heart of Christianity, ba? from just tradition, maybe Philippine tradition or even Western tradition na pinasa lang sa atin. We want to get to the heart of it. What is Christian and what is just Western, you know? Where is God's word specific that this is really what it says and where is their wiggle room? May, may ganun din naman. Or maybe you're, you're a leader, you know, who's walking with people like that and you're looking to have this conversation because you feel like you're raising stuff and there's nobody else to talk to about it. This is where we can talk about it, sana. Not to say this is gonna be all theological, ah, eh? because 
Di ko rin kaya yun. All right, that's gonna be boring for me. So we'll talk about real life. We'll talk about life experiences. How did I get this scar in my head? What's it like being married to this super famous, successful, beautiful woman? Who, when you walk with her in the mall, people are like, who in the world is that guy? Also give teachings on things that I'm passionate about, preaching, leadership. We'll see how it goes. But wherever it goes, I promise you it's gonna be biblical. All right, we're gonna base it on the word of God. We're gonna be clear. We're gonna be clear that this is what the Bible says. This is not what the Bible says. And practical. We're gonna talk about real life, right? And how does this affect us, how we live today? How do we? Res how does this help us respond with what's going on in the world right now? That's it. So for now, welcome to my vlog. And uh, if what I have planned interests you, then hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will know when the next video is posted. If you want to, okay? I mean, I'd appreciate it. I subscribe and like. I never hit the notification bell. And that's because much a guy check it. So, ikaw, bala. However you want to do it. Welcome to the vlog. We'll see you around.